round X. Yeah. What was that for? Dark. Alright, anyway, yeah, I uh, figured out where it is. It's uh, in here. Haunted cover. Hey, you can use your fire eggs if you want inside this room to light it up. And you have to continue along the winding path instead of going to the exhibit, come over here. Come up onto this ledge. Climb over to your left, 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 to your left. Left to your left, and then climb up. And voila! Five Cheeto pages. And I'm actually gonna go turn those. Oh, yeah, by the way, I exchanged a an empty honeycomb for life. And I'll be right back when I go and give him those cheat pages. Alright, here we are in uh, Grunty's lair. Stuck the Cheeto. Gruntilda, I mean, you're great. You found enough pages for me to tell you when you cheat. Right, thanks. Spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My second cheat is eggs. Got it? Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more of my pages, you know where to find me. And I'll see you guys next time on my playthrough of Pikmin 2. Whoops. Uh, play through Pikmin 2, play through Banjo 2. So, uh, bye bye. Alright, hi guys. This is, um, uh, uh, part. I want to say 16, but I forget. Uh, Banjo 2. And this part, we will first go and get our cheats at, uh, Mayhem Temple. We'll show you how to activate cheats. Because I never did the first one. So, head to Wooded Hollow. That's where we are going. And so, you just want to go to the Mayhem Temple and enter the code room under Slither's Nest. So, I'll be right back. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. Here we are in the uh, code chamber. This is where you activate my cheat. Stand on the podium if you wish to. Activate them. Okay. You will spell out the cheat code I have given you. Use the left stick to move the aiming sight and press L or uh, left or right trigger to it. Sure, aim carefully, because if you hit the wrong letter, you'll have to start it again. So yeah, basically we have to spell out the cheese. We have feathers and eggs, so let's go with eggs first. Should the E, and the G, G again, and then, and then the S. The eggs cheat will double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry. Yes, and then feathers. There's actually a way to activate cheat codes without unlocking them, which I'll get into later. And I believe we, the Heggy actually has a cheat for us too. Where's the E? Oh, it's right there. Heggy actually gave us a cheat too, because I did do stop and swap, I believe, very early on. Nice shooting. Now step across to the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B to view your new cheat. The feathers cheat will double the maximum number of red and gold feathers that you can carry. Yes. And how do I leave this? I forget how to leave! Oh, I guess it's X, maybe? You'll have to start with the first letter again. X, B, Y, oh, it's Y. First person view. Of course! So yeah, you come over here, and here you can activate them. Oh yeah. Yeah, we do have, we have the homing cheat. Basically, it lets our eggs home in on enemies. So here, I'll show you when I get it, and H. Oh, that was a lucky one. The homing cheat will make eggs home in on baddies. Yeah, they're called baddies in this game. So yeah, we're gonna come over here once more. B button. And then select the homing eggs cheat. And here, I'll show you that one real quick. Okay, see, watch this. Hang on. Hang on, it's kinda hard to tell. Like that. Okay, maybe it's not as noticeable. It's very noticeable when you're putting in cheats later. Those guys will actually get in your way. And so I'll see you guys back in Jigabee's Temple so we can open up the next area. Hey, here we go. Yeah, here we are in Jigabee's Temple. We actually have double the required duties. We might actually be able to open up the fifth level too. So let's come up here and do the next puzzle for Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And so, 
Wait, why are they control- Oh, never mind. Yep, Jolly Roger's the goo. No? Okay, maybe over here? Okay, here, maybe? Yeah, right there. Okay, let's try this. This one goes right there. And this goes right- No, it doesn't. It goes right there. And then this one? It, it, it goes right there. And then this one over here? No, it doesn't. And that right there? No. And then maybe, maybe here? Yeah, and then, and, uh, right there. That one's kind of obvious because I have banjo in it. And then that, that, that. Yeah, that one goes right there on the top. And then this one goes that, like down there. Then this one goes up here to the top. Right, right there. And then this one goes, um, here. Oh, there. No. No. Oh, I never thought it would go there. You have completed Jiggy with his challenge for now the great one will show you the way. The crystal Jiggy will show us the way. It shoots a laser beam into the sky that somehow redirects to be a horizontal beam of light that breaks open a gateway to the next area. Actually it doesn't always break it open, sometimes it's just Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! And my controller is rumbling violently. No, not violently, it's just rumbling. And look, there's a hatch we haven't opened yet. There we go. See, somehow it's hor no, it's not even horizontal. I came at an angle. A horiz downward angle. Hey, it's blocking the sign. Why you block sign, door? You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 5. Let's do it, people! Um, let me think, let me think. Uh, I lost. Uh, uh blah, blah, what's the- I can't think of the name for some reason. Pterodactyl land, that's the word. I knew what it was, I just couldn't think of the name for a second there. Uh, okay, and then this one goes right there, and then this one goes over right here, and then that one goes right here. Yeah, apparently not, and then maybe over here, and then maybe right there, right there. Yeah, so okay, and then this one goes right there, maybe, and then this right here, right there. And this one goes right- no, no, right there. Um, uh, there's a new show on Disney Channel, I actually really like it. I saw it, watched it last night, it's called, uh, Gravity Falls. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge number five, so now the great one will show you the way. Again! What? It actually looks stupid. Try the commercial. It looks very stupid. It looks like it'll just be a ripoff of Scooby-Doo. It's actually a pretty good show. I watched the first three episodes. All three were shown in one day. And then they re-showed on Saturday and then showed yet again on Sunday, which was yesterday. Which was when I watched them. I watched them last night. But yeah, it's actually a pretty good show. Basically, these two kids. Hey, look, there's an um, open hatch and um, a new ability. It's the Clockwork Kazooie eggs, which are actually the last eggs. We can actually get both of the next eggs, I believe. We might even have enough notes to unlock both next eggs. All right, so um, we actually have to unlock the next area, which we can do now. Wait, I can do six? You also have enough chickies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's challenge number to say. Uh, I believe this is Grunty Industries, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, I have exactly enough. Well, uh, I'll take it. Let's do it. As you can tell, there's fewer and fewer pieces that you're given to stuck that already in the puzzle. The farther the level is in the game. So yeah, I don't know. Right there? No, right there. Maybe there? Yeah, and then this one goes over here. And then right there. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. And this right here. And no, 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 yeah, right there. If you hear that bag crinkling in the back of my sister. I doubt she'll ever talk to you, but I don't know. She's camera shy. No, she's not fat. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I wasn't accusing her of being fat, but she's apparently thinks I was. I'm actually just randomly guessing here and I got them all. <laughs> you have completely jiggy with these challenges. I get the point, I read this line twice already. Let me fix the camera real quick. Alright, we get the point of this. We get it, we watched it three times in a row now. Alright, so, uh, yeah, Crystal Jig. Ah, um, uh, maybe it may have been amazing the first time you played this game, especially if you were like six or seven, maybe when you first played it. But like after watching it like eight times, I think yeah, there's nine level, nine times, there's ten times if you include Cauldron Keep. No wait, yeah nine. Yeah nine if you include Cauldron Keep. No yeah ten if you include both areas of Cauldron Keep that open up. My sister apparently has a question. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, wow. Wow, so you're calling me like not the chosen one, even though I just did three puzzles in a row? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there's ten puzzles total and then there's some bonus puzzles at the end. Wow, oh, 36. What? Six. Alright, so unlock the next area, return to the plateau. 
We're actually gonna get an ability that lets us go everywhere else pretty soon. I can go get the uh, right after entering Jolly Rogers Lagoon. There's an ability we're gonna learn pretty quickly that I can actually use to get the Clockwork Kazooie eggs, which are the last type of egg to unlock. But um, uh, I don't. I'm not gonna go for that. It'll kind of be a sequence break just because I'm doing going for 100%. There so, yeah, you wanna come up here and press Banjo's button and how do you teleport again? Yeah, it's B. I was pressing B, I swear. Yeah, let's take Kazooie. Oh, and Kazooie will finally get a good attack that doesn't involve eggs, wasting eggs. So far, oh, you freaked me out there. Hey, look, it's a train station in Isle of Hags. It's amazing to hear the ice eggs. Like, freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. Yeah, you can actually say those lines to his tune. To the tune. Yeah, see, double the eggs. We have a hundred of those eggs. That'll be all. Yeah, you can actually say his lines to the theme of the song. I'm actually going to try that more in sync next time. Yeah, look at that. We have double the eggs of every time. So yeah, you want to grip grab and climb over here. Use your grip grab, a uh, backflip, and then use your grip grab to climb over here. Look, there's the train switch. Train switch for the win! For the double win! Yeah, there we go. For some reason, I'm, I guess I'm too used to Mario or something. I keep trying to use X as both the, X, as both its uh, the action button and the interaction button. Which I guess is what it pretty much is in Mario, but in this game... X is the interaction button, and B is the... In no, B is the interaction button, and X is the action button. Okay, now we're gonna get some more notes. Yeah, there's a mumbo pad here. You'll see what that's for later. So let's beat him up. And let's steal his honeycomb. And so we're gonna come up here. There's a mumbo's hut for Ilo Hags. As you saw, one was big mom was back there, too. So let's open this hatch. There's another switch we have to go and press first. So let's go down here. Let's head down here. Don't fall off. You can come down here and press this button. It looks like a stone or something. And then you're gonna open up a bridge to what comes after... Um... Uh, whatever world we just opened. So we open Pterodactyl Land. What do we open after Pterodactyl Land? I actually forget now. Uh... So Jolly Rogers is doing Pterodactyl Land and... I think, yeah, it was Grunty's Industries. It was the train station of Grunty Industries. That was the picture. I remember now. Uh, yeah, there's actually a globo up there for Mumbo. Even with this globo, you cannot do the Isle of Hags Humbo Wumba. So if you prefer transformations to playing as Mumbo, then it won't work. So, sorry to disappoint you guys. So yeah, climb up here. You can kill this guy if you want. He's a flying enemy. Just go get the globo. And then, let's head over to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And I guess... I'll, I'll cover the surface area of that world, we'll cover the surface of that world, and then... Darn it, it was just too late. Alright, here we go, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, let's go! I'm gonna turn off the volume a bit. Uh, yeah, if you want to drill to these ones. That is a doubloon! They are the only currency accepted in Jolly Rogers Lagoon! Yes, they, he's actually telling the truth for once. No, I'm just kidding. He always tells He's good with telling the truth. Okay, most of this level is underwater. I know you may be asking, but Matthew, how would you stand underwater for such long periods of time? Well, you'll see. Yeah, we're not going to use that yet. Let's break this up there. Another doubloon. Now let's get in here. This is the uh, collector shop, and you can basically buy a jiggy from him, and then he'll also sell you a. Greetings, friend. The name's Pono. I'm the local pawnbroker. We're inter We're interested in that jiggy in the case. Uh, yes, a real nice piece. Circa Banjo Kazooie, so I was told. I reckon 20 gold doubloons would be a fair price. 20 doubloons? We only want the jiggy, not your whole shop. So, yeah, we're gonna head up here real quick and get the globo. And let's get these notes. I think that's all you can do in here for now. Let me get some blue eggs. And there, I have max of all the eggs now. As you can see, 200, 150, 100. Okay. This looks like a thing, right? 
Wait, you can't blow it up? Um, how do I break this? Oh, I have to drill fill it? I forgot how to break it now. Oh, now it broke. There we go. Yeah, that'll come in handy a little bit later. Okay, now go in here and get this note. This is Jolly Roger's, uh, thingamabob, uh, what do you call it? So head over here real quick, I just want to get this out of the way. Okay, just shoot at this wall. Right there, and you'll blow a hole in this wall, into the storage room. You can buy our- Oh, hello there, I'm Jelly Roger. Town Mayor and Priority of this lovely Harborside Inn. We like to be here, please. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than jelly at the moment as my partner's gone missing. That's a shame. Now how about that drink? Gazoo, eh? Ah, sorry. Where did you last see her? She was out on the way for this earlier today. Earlier yesterday evening with a big gulping noise and when I got outside, she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious sea demon. Oh, I hope not. This will be happy hour soon. Would you like to rent a room? It's half price to two balloons as this naughty mall has dug a hole in the corner of it. No, I or no. What a shame. I was hoping to get a deal with that runner. There's actually, you don't have to pay him the balloons. You can just blow the door open. Well, really? That was a brand new door. Have you any idea how much they cost these days? Okay, yeah, you can get hurt by that fire, so don't touch it like I almost did right there. So climb up here and get these musical notes. Whoa, I just realized you can climb over into the storage room from here. I never knew that. And apparently my friend's online likes to play Minecraft. So uh, let's get over here and talk to uh, Jam Jars. When in the water and daddy's attack, this move will let you shoot back. Press what we're aiming, sight. All the pilot trigger, or, nah, that didn't work at all. That was y'all. Dismissed. Say so, yeah, that, we have underwater aiming, I believe. Oh no, my cat got outside. Oh. My cat just got outside, apparently. Oh yeah, head in here and there's a little cameo. Alas, there ye scurvy dogs! I am Captain Black Eye, fearless pirate and scourge of the seas! You are looking a tad wobbly there, Blackie. Just a touch of seasickness, you filthy rats! Seasick, some pirate you are. What's your tongue, buzzard? Now just keep talking to him for a little while. Shiver me timbers! These seasick tablets Johnny gave me are mighty useless. Picture of stop and stop right there, by the way. And there's Shark Food Island Rays. Splice the main brace! One more press of that thar button and I'll run you through. Right, I'll slip yeah. Poor stomach. Just take these doubloons and fetch me another glass of water. Talk to him one more time. I were in this fine game. Talk to him again. A bear stole me glory. Looked a bit like you. It did. He did. I were in this fine game. Where's his last line? Arg, I had a dream once. Okay, basically in its project in the early versions, Bandit Kazooie was referred to as Project Dream was its code name. And it originally had a much different story. Captain Black Eye, although not the main character, it was the main villain. There was basically a boy and a couple other characters. Banjo was originally a big, tough, muscular muscular bear who always came to ammunition and weapons. Kazooie was not in his backpack. Instead, there were many much ammunition and weapons inside his backpack and um there was also a bunny and a dog, from what I read. And, um, let's see what else was there. Let's get over to Mumbo's hut real quick. So yeah, there was that, and, um, sorry, I'm drawing a blank for all of a sudden. Alright, so let's go in here. Three more demands. We'll get Mumbo later. We need him. Actually, we do need him to start this level, really. Okay, but anyway. Let's come over here. Oh yeah, real quick thing. If you switch to Kazooie alone, it's, um, she jumps much higher with the shock jump spring pad. Shock jump spring pad. Shock jump spring. 
Pass. Yeah, Shotgun Spring Pass. So we come over here and with Kazooie alone do this. And three doubloons. And then again with Kazooie alone, head over here. Okay, we'll get those doubloons later. Okay, yeah, head over here to this little cave. And Kazooie is finally going to get an attack. With these doubloons. You lost. You lost the safety, that's not great. You're uh, with your wings. Well done around by pressing X. A useful attack, I think you'll agree. Or something like that. That'll be all dismissed. Yes, now pressing X, you do a wing attack. Woohoo. No, not a Pokemon wing attack. It's Kazooie wing attack. It's a million times better. Okay, so let's get these doubloons real quick. As you can see, there's a mumbo pad right there. I'll show you what that is in just a second. And I'm gonna finish collecting the balloons. Yes, that was a pig over there. We get to meet him in just a second. There, we can buy the jiggy now. Oh, a yeah, really funny thing, if you try to swim with Kazooie, if you try to dive underwater, you get this. Yes, because we can't swim underwater. Okay. Let's head back up here. Kazooie gets even more abilities alone, and Banjo does too. Banjo gets two more, and Kazooie gets a few more. I forget how exactly how many. I can only think of two, but there might be more. Okay, so let's head over here and talk to these pigs and see what's up. See what's up. Beat, fix the pool. Tug us close to me in the other weekend. Look, you have to have it to my arm. Well, I didn't want to say anything. Thanks, I'm a little touchy about it, as you might expect. Freak out. Oh, there goes Kazooie being me. I've got so out our pool. What's wrong with it? Let's find me. We want to get swimming, but the water is polluted and icy cold. Hmm, this may be take some time. So wait, quickly head in here. The poison doesn't affect you for some reason. So let's just head down here real quick. They're super fast swimming and we're gonna get that to bloom. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you what you can do about the sludge in just a second. Or actually, that might be next time, it depends. Okay, so now let's head over here to the Wave Race store. Wave Racers. I'm really just showing you around town, and then I'm gonna do Mumbo and finish it off with Mumbo. Alright, uh, here we are. I need to get those notes in here. This may seem like a small level, but trust me, it gets much bigger than this. Okay, so let's talk to Blubber. Oh, hi there, it's the your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How are you going, me hearties? It's a party day, really. Aye, uh, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and so many stuff to fly. Beat standing around now. How's business, Blubber Regards? Not good, then, Blubbers. All the wave racers are shipwrecked, and the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps, perhaps we can lend you a doubloon or two. No, oh, shipmates, but I will sell you my last position for just one doubloon. How bad it be, hearties? Do you want my last position for one doubloon? Yes, it's worth it. Oh, hey! Are ye a good one, Benjo? Have a look inside your crate. Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Johnny's for their quiz night. There'll be 1,000 doubloons up for grabs, and if I uh, win, I'll be fine new something or other. Oh, yeah, he buy it. You'll see something funny near the end of the game. Okay, so let's go over here, get the big shoes, and I'll show you what to do. Immediately run across the water right here. Oh my god, it's the white Jinjo. It's the white Jinjo, the one that there's only one of. Okay, you're gonna run over here and get it. There, we got that. There, I'm gonna end that early. The white Jinjo family is complete. He'd like you to have this. Shouldn't that be me? If the person talking about the white ginger, I'm the only one. You got all the balloons! Well done! Just for that, you could have a new gamer picture! Oh, I unlocked the gamer picture for doing that. I don't think I've actually... Yeah, I have beaten this game on the Xbox Live Arcade. I have a file with all 90 jiggies. I guess I just never got every doubloon. Probably skipped one or two. So now let's go buy the jiggy over here. Go buy the jiggy. And then we'll buy his Cheeto page, too. It's still 20 doubloons for the Jiggy. Would you like to buy it? What do you say? I. Right, friend, let's see some gold. Watch this, this is really funny, the way he gives you the Jiggy. A pleasure doing business. Please help yourself. Watch this. <gasps> yeah. He looks all sad. Sounds sad, too. And it just shatters. 
It's really funny. There we go, we got a jiggy. So what you gotta do is you gotta leave and immediately come right back in. It'll sell you a Cheeto page for five or something like that, or seven. Yeah, seven. Hello again. I don't want to spare the worthless old page. Far from worthless, my friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you serious? Oh, yes, I'm afraid it won't take less than five doubloons. I don't get quality like that every day. So I see. So yeah, let's buy it from him. Welcome back. The page is still available if you want it. I'm sure it's still there next year. It would still be five doubloons. Do I have a sale? What do you say? Hi. Hey, friend, let's see some gold. So yeah, that's the last of our doubloons, I believe. That's the last of time we're gonna have to use them. Let's do business. Please help yourselves. Then again, he opens the cash register and sounds like he's in pain. Or pawn And uh, we get ourselves a Cheeto page. Isn't that nice? Ain't that nice? Oh uh, yeah, Cheeto page. Ooh. Okay. Now one last thing, we're gonna get Mumbo. And actually, I'm gonna. Sh this is gonna be funny. Here, I'll show you something first. Okay. See right here. Most of this level is underwater, if you can believe that. So, you might be thinking. So like, there's probably something under here that helps you swim, right? Wrong! So let's go into first person view and try to swim under here. Doesn't work all that well, because as you can see, we're gonna lose health eventually. It's very cool under here, but, um, yeah, we're losing life, so let's head back up. You can actually traverse this area quite a bit with those double bubbles. Now, which way is land? Okay, this way's land. I actually prefer swimming in third person view. I used to prefer first person, now I prefer third person. Okay, so I'm gonna head over here real quick. You might be asking how we're gonna fix this. Well, since I said we're going to Mumbo next, and this is gonna be funny, I'm pretty sure you can guess. Yeah, anyway. Up here, through here. Oh yeah, real quick thing, blow up this wall. You can't do anything in there yet, because you need an ability for Kazooie that you learned in Pterodactyl Land, but you'll see that later. Then come up here for Mumbo. Welcome again, there, Ed Bird. We've got a Globo. Let's give Magic Creature to Mumbo if one help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes. Sure, we can use all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. That might be a better voice, I don't know. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Die Banjo! Eee. Now let's head down here and go that. I'm the star of this game now, Banjo! Fear me! Now let's go outside. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've ever tried to show Mumbo Jumbo trying to swim. Yeah, he can't use their pads apparently. Apparently he can't shock jump. This is what happened, and then if you try to dive, actually you can't even try to dive. You can only swim on the surface. So apparently he can swim, but he can't swim. Okay, then do this. Oh, this works. Eco poco, 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 Oh, it's just a big light, number one. It now has plenty of oxygen. Bear and bird not need to hold breath in there now. Yes, you can breathe infinitely underwater now. Isn't that just awesome? Literally. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'll play through Banjo Chewie.